Welcome to the tutorial on understanding aspects of the coordinate plane for pre-calculus. There are several key concepts we will be covering in this tutorial regarding the Cartesian coordinate system, including coordinates, coordinate axes, origins, the y-axis, the x-axis, ordered pairs, and quadrants. We will also be covering formulas including the distance formula, the midpoint formula, and graphing equations. Let's begin by talking about the Cartesian coordinate system. A point on a number line can be specified by a real number x called its coordinate. Similarly, by using a rectangular or Cartesian coordinate system, we can specify a point p in the plane with two real numbers, also called coordinates. A Cartesian coordinate system consists of two perpendicular number lines called coordinate axes, which meet at a common origin, zero. Typically, one of the number lines called the x-axis is horizontal, and the other, called the y-axis, is the vertical axis. Any point in the xy plane can be located by using an ordered pair of real numbers. You can think of the ordered pair as the numerical address of p. We identify p by writing its address as p equals x comma y, two points in the Cartesian coordinate system. The x-axis and y-axis divide the plane into four regions called quadrants. They are denoted as quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. In quadrant 1, both the x-coordinate and y-coordinate are positive. In quadrant 2, x is negative, y is positive. In quadrant 3, both x and y are negative. And in quadrant 4, x is positive and y is negative. In this problem, we are asked to plot the following ordered pairs on the graph. As you will see, there are four sets of ordered pairs beginning with 4, 3, 4, negative 3, negative 5, 1, and negative 6, negative 2. Let's plot the first pair. We will begin by going over 4 on the x-axis, and again, remember, this is the x-axis. So we'd go over 4, up 3, and put our point right there. The second ordered pair is 4, negative 3. We would go over again 4 on the x-axis, and down 3 for negative on the y-axis. Our point would be located there. The third pair is negative 5, negative 1, so we would count over to negative 5 on the x-axis, go up 1 on the y-axis, and our final pair, negative 6, negative 2, we go over 6 on the x-axis, and down 2 on the y-axis, our point would be located right there. The next important concept covered in this tutorial is the distance formula. If p1 equals x1, y1, and p2 equals x2, y2, and they're two points in the Cartesian plane, then the distance between p1 and p2 is given by the following formula. x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. You take the square root of that, and that gives you the distance between the two points. Simply put, to compute the distance between two points, you find the distance of the x-coordinates, square it, and add this to the square of the difference of the y-coordinates. The square root of the sum is the distance. In this problem, we are asked to find the distance between p1 and p2, assuming p1 has the coordinates negative 1, 2, and p2 has the coordinates 3, negative 2. In order to solve this problem, we would use the distance formula we saw in the previous example, where we would take the difference between the x-coordinates, square it, and the difference between the y-coordinates, square it, add it, and take the square root. So let's go ahead and solve this equation using the numbers given in this problem. We would take the square root of the difference of x2 minus x1, so we would take 3 minus negative 1, we would square that result, and we would add it to negative 2 minus 2 
square that and take the square root. So continuing with the calculation, we get 3 minus negative 1. We know 3 minus a negative number becomes positive, so we have 4 squared. And we add that to negative 4 squared, which again gives us a positive result. So we would be taking the square root of 16 plus 16, which would give us the square root of 32, which would equal 4 times the square root of 2. And using our calculator, we get it approximately equal to 5.66, carrying it to two decimal points. So that's the answer to finding the distance between P1 and P2 using our distance formula. The distance formula is really a simple consequence of the Pythagorean theorem, as we can see if we graph out the points. When we graph our first point, we see P1 equals negative 1, 2. The point would be right there. Next, we locate point P2 at 3, negative 2, right there for P2. And when we connect the two points with a line, it looks something like that, showing us the distance between the two points. When we connect the two points, we can see that if we form a triangle, we make a right triangle. So notice that the distance between P1 and P2 is the hypotenuse of the right triangle formed when we extend the lines in this example. The final important concept covered in this tutorial regards graphing an equation. The graph of an equation involving variables x and y is a set of all points x, y in the Cartesian plane and only those points whose coordinates x and y satisfy the equation. We can easily graph an equation by plotting points by hand on the graph. Let's take, for example, the following equation, y equals x squared minus 2. We can solve this equation, plugging in various values for x, yielding the results for y. Let's make a table of the results. So we have x and y, we plug in, oh, let's take negative 2 for the equation. 2 times 2 is 4, minus 2, we get 2. Take negative 1 squared, we get 1, minus negative 1, negative 1. And plug in 0, of course, we get 2. Plug in 1, we get negative 1. Let's see, 2, 2, and finally let's plug in 3, and we get 9 minus 2, 7. So those are the results we get when we plug in those top values for x into the equation and solve for y. The next step is to plot those ordered pairs on our graph. Let's first write out those ordered pairs so that we can see how they look. Negative 2, 2 negative 1, negative 1, 0, 2, 1, negative 1, 2, 2, and finally 3, 7. Let's look at how they look on the graph. When we plot the points, this is what they look like on the graph. Now if we connect the points, we get a graph that roughly looks like so. And that is the graphic picture of solving the equation y equals x squared minus 2.